Hi, Super Spruce here, back with a new series, True Infinity Gamma. And remember my True Infinity Beta series? Well, uh, this game is very different. It's still made by the same creator, Reinhardt. And this time, um, I actually did do record some of this game previously, but um, it was a much earlier version of True Infinity Gamma. And this time... It's a newer version, it's like almost like the full release version. I actually have early access to it, so I will, um, essentially, I'm, I'm going to be giving everyone a preview of what the game is going to be like, so um, I guess I'm just going to start right now. So I have one antimatter, um, and yeah, it's just increasing by one per second, it seems pretty standard. Um, True Infinity Beta was extremely fast. Um, the last time I did True Infinity Gamma, it was quite slow. Maybe it's sped up from now. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be like. It, The start kind of reminds me of Infinite Layers. Maybe that's maybe that was the goal, because again, this doubles every time, and then the cost increases by a certain amount. So there's a bunch of options. There's not much here. Um, and then there's upgrades that cost E10, E30 antimatter. These, I think these seem like the same as previously. So I have a thousand antenna, which means I can get dimension three, and it's honestly it's pretty standard. Like if you've seen antimatter dimensions, infinite layers, or just many other games, it's similar to those. I mean, there could be more content that comes out later, so but I, I really have no idea what it's gonna be like. But anyway, we're not we now have are in the thousands of antimatter. And the first upgrade here is E10 antimatter. It is dimensional compression. I think this is the same as last time, or at least it seems about. Or if it's not the same, it's it's um, similar to last time I recorded True Infinity Gamma. And this is multiplied per dimension is is increased by log two level plus one um, over one point five. Then raises the power of log three level over two plus one. But the dimension cost scale is raised to the power of um, of log 2, level 2, plus 1, and your antimatter dimensions are reset. This is reset on prestige. So, this seems like a prestige layer, of course, and it's a repeatable one. So, it's kind of like dimension shifts. And it's a little lame that it, that they're doing, that there's a semi-force prestige like this, but, I don't know, maybe this will get better later on. Like, maybe... There's there's probably some content I haven't unlocked here because I'm I'm guessing this game has been develop in development for months and hopefully it's better than True Infinity Beta. So yeah, it looks like I just have to wait for enough antimatter. It's a little bit of a wait. Um, well, actually, it's not even that much because at 1.5 to e6. I can get that, but then the next thing costs E7 antimatter. So, yeah, I'm I'm not sure. This is definitely not true Infinity Beta fast, but seems faster than last time I did true Infinity Gamma. And I think it's right now it's an okay speed. I, um, I don't think there's much else. If you do want to play true Infinity Beta, this here, um, if you click this. There's links to the Discord, how, how to play patch notes if you want to see the history. And then there's beta link and alpha link. I think alpha link is just true infinity beta with less content. So I think if you if you want the crazy speed, just go click the beta link and you'll see that. So now I finally have E7 antimatter. This means I can start producing lower tier dimensions. Shouldn't be too too hard to reach. E10 antimatter to get this. I guess I can look at this. This is slowdown effect is multiplied by 0 0.09 times per level, capped at 10 levels. This resets on prestige. So it seems like this is not a prestige layer, but this is a prestige layer. I mean, maybe this is more like dimensional sacrifice than dimension shift. And again, this is a repeatable upgrade, but it's only finitely repeatable. So. Yeah, anyway, we're going to get this, and the ne next one here, next upgrade here is 5E7 antimatter. 
One after that is 5e8, so it may take a while to reach e10 antimatter. So I'll just I, I will just have to deal with it. There's really not many options. These are just yeah. I I mean hopefully I'm really hoping that I I I feel like they're alluding to like this isn't even the prestige that they're talking about, but it says this is reset on prestige. So there must be a higher prestige layer over all of this. So, at least that's exciting. But other than that, there's not much else I could do. I'm probably just gonna, um, probably just gonna cut after, or once I actually reach E10 and it's matter, I'll be back. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and you can see I have E15 and matter. So, I'm just gonna get all this, I can get this, this will reset stuff, and, um... Okay, it reset, not only resets dimensions, it also resets antimatter, so it's like a full prestige. And there's a whole new layer. I have two unfunity points, um, giving a 1.023 times boost to all production. That isn't very good. Like, even if it's every dimension, you know how lame that is? That's like 1.1 times boost to antimatter. That's nothing. I don't... I mean, okay, that, that's plus this, so I, I really shouldn't be complaining because now it should be easier just to get everything, just to get more antimatter go, going, but, okay, whatever. I'm producing one unfundy per hour with a five times boost for being online, giving total production of five unfundy per hour, per hour. and this is double unfund, double the amount of unfundy points you gain. Increases the potency of unfunity and increases the online production of unfunity. So, yeah, well, unfunity is not going to do that much. Um, but luckily, these upgrades are a lot more powerful. Unfortunately, they're also more expensive, so there's really not much I can do. Honestly, I'm probably just going to wait for a bunch of unfunity to come and, yeah, it is an unbalanced unfunity. So, uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I'm true infinity. I have E14 antimatter. I can look at unfunity. I thought I was going to get more unfunity than that. I only have three unfunity because, um, I don't know why. I, 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 it's been like six or seven hours since last time I recorded. So, could get this. I probably want this, actually. I know it's less production, but I want to get more unfunity per hour. And... Actually, Reinhardt posted on his, on his Discord that he's going to remove the unfunity mechanic, so, yeah. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much I can do. I can get the fifth dimension, actually. There, there is a decent amount I can do. E18 antimatter, I guess it just takes a while for things to get going. But, when's the next upgrade? Isn't it like E30, E30 antimatter? So, it's really just me buying these until I get that much antimatter. So, yeah, see you in another bit. Okay, I'm back on True Infinity Gamma, and I can get a couple of these upgrades, but I probably want this one. This is slowdown effect is multiplied by, um, I'm not even sure what the slowdown effect even is, but it's probably, I'm not, I have no idea, but it's something. So I can get that, and it doesn't reset anything. That's why I want to get that. And then I can get this dimensional compression one more time. Um, I'm really close to E31 antimatter. Here it is. So this will reset everything, but hopefully it's going to be faster. It's twice as fast right now. To get this, I don't feel like it's any faster. That's the problem. Even with like all these upgrades, I don't feel like I'm getting a good boost out of my prestige. That is. I mean, maybe I'm getting something out of it, but I still feel like that it's very lame boost for a prestige that is semi-forced, which is very bad. I, I just don't like being essentially forced to prestige if you want to progress, and then there's barely any boost in it. So, yeah, it looks like I'm just going to wait until I can get E40 antimatter to, to get another dimension. Stabilizer. I don't even know what the slowdown effect is. 
Maybe that could... I feel like this should be rewarded, because I have no idea what it is. So, yeah, see in another bit. Okay, I'm back. Um, more, Some more hours later, even though I only have four unfunny points. This is definitely bugged. Oh, I see. So, it says you're playing idly, so your punishment is a total of... 0.02 on funity per hour. I feel like it's more than that. I'm getting more than that because it hasn't been that long. It's like I I feel like it's been 12 hours since last time last recording. So I don't I don't, I don't get this. Anyway, I'm just gonna click max all and clicking max all actually really does help things. It's enough to get the next upgrade here. So that should help things a little bit. The problem is that the upgrades are now getting so expensive that you can't really do anything. Actually, I can do something. I can get one more of that upgrade. And then I just need E58 antimatter to get the, the next one of these upgrades. I may want to get E60 antimatter first to get this upgrade before that because this, again, resets everything. We'll accept that. So, yeah, see you in another bit. Okay, I'm back another day later. Yeah, it didn't need to be a day, but whatever. I'm still not getting a lot of unfunity points. I can get this, though. So, like, it's actually two levels of this. So, that's pretty good. But then I have to, yeah, prestige everything again. It is now quite a bit faster, which is good. But, again, the upgrades are more expensive. I have no idea why the upgrades are more expensive. They didn't need to really be this way, especially considering True Infinity Gamma is kind of an Antimatter Dimensions clone, because, yeah, I don't know how you could say it's anything other than an Antimatter Dimensions clone, it literally says Antimatter, and there's Dimensions, and what made True Infinity Beta so unique was just how ridiculously fast the progression was, this is just a clone of a better game, and I think there is mechanics that I haven't unlocked yet, but right now, what, what, I, what I see right here is not a very good game. I'm trying to be objective. I'm sorry, Reinhardt. Maybe, maybe you should give more indication that there's something to come, because I don't, I don't see anything that indicates that there's another, another mechanic. There's probably another mechanic at this point that I have not unlocked yet. I mean, there is the hint of this resets on prestige, but it's just a little bit lame that the game is slow. There's very few options. Um, I do know that um, Greenheart is going to add a bunch of notations that may make it a little more interesting, but this doesn't hide the fact that it's just, at this point, an Antibar Dimensions clone, and, they're really, and the upgrades are complicated, overly complicated, for honestly too little boost. Like, if they were simple, I could understand it more, but here it's just, I can barely understand anything. So, I feel like all this first upgrade is doing is, like, stretching out the multipliers and the costs. So, like, instead of two times multiplier and 2 to the 10 times cost increase, it's a 5 times multiplier and a 5 to the 10 times cost increase. This will increase the number, but it won't really make the game feel any faster. So, yeah, that that's my current complaints and also the forced, the semi-forced prestige. There's really not much to this game yet, but maybe I will do some off-camera progression here between this episode and next episode. But maybe there'll be something, some new mechanic, that will really spice up the game. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.